If there is one thing that golfers have in common across the board, it is a passion for teeing it up and ripping one down the fairway. For most, this club is the favorite in their bag. Rarely will you find a golfer who prefer to hit anything else off the tee. This is the history of the driver. In the beginning, the majority of drivers had small heads and were made from wood. The wood would start to make the club too heavy if they made the club heads too big. That meant that golfers were left with a small sweet spot. If they missed the ball out towards the toe or in the heel, they would lose a mass amount of distance. The metal revolution started to take shape in 1979 when TaylorMade introduced the first steel head onto the market. TaylorMade nicknamed it the Pittsburgh Persimmon, as TaylorMade used steel rather than wood. It developed into one of the strongest selling lines throughout the 1980s. The metal allowed for larger heads due to lighter weight and provided much more forgiving golf shots when a ball was struck off the center. These were advancements that wooden models couldn't keep up with and the metal models soon came to completely dominate the game. In 1990, Mizuno introduced the world's first titanium driver, the TI-110. Powerful and expensive, they were marketed almost exclusively in Japan. In 1992, McGregor unveiled the first American-designed titanium driver, the T920. But Callaway's hugely popular stainless steel Big Bertha still ruled the fairways around the US. Though the first titanium head was released in 1990, it wasn't until 1996 when Callaway and TaylorMade started to develop their answers. By the time Callaway launched its first titanium driver, the Great Big Bertha, in 1995, the US market was ready, purchasing over 250,000 drivers in just 12 months. At this time, titanium heads had completely replaced everything else ever invented. Fast forward to today and the driver continues to evolve. Although with only so much more you can do with the driver, top golf companies have started looking towards other alternatives such as the golf ball itself to enhance your game. With the uprising of technology entering the golf world, who knows what we will see in the near future. Make sure to comment down below and like the video for more content like this. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe.